September, and we want to welcome back to our news part of our Commitment 2010 coverage all year long. Former Congressman Neil Abercrombie, who of course is running for governor, and sir, Benny, once again, welcome back to KITV. Thank you. And uh, I think one of the uh, big issues that have, uh, has been raised recently is the fact uh, that Rail and Mayor Mufi Hanneman has not yet announced that he's going to be running for governor, though it's widely expected. And of course, your campaign has been saying the man needs to stay in office to see Rail through. Well, you put the whole project at risk. Otherwise, there's no uh, transit authority. There's no transit-oriented development. Uh, the timetable keeps getting pushed back, and rail is so important, in fact, the most important project that's ever been in the state of Hawaii, uh, over $5 billion just for this segment. It doesn't even include Waikiki and, and Manoa. It's a long-term proposition that you need to be committed to if you're going to have it succeed. But th isn't this a convenient position for your campaign to take? I mean, of course you don't want Mayor Henneman to uh, run against you because, of course, he'd be one of the strongest candidates out there, I guess, after maybe perhaps Senator Dan Inouye. But and it, so, I mean, for you, this would seem to be an obvious position for you to take. Yeah, but the truth is the truth regardless. That's the whole point that I'm trying to make. Take the political personalities out of it. Rail is too big a project, a $5 billion-plus project, to have it be concerned about uh, individuals, myself or the mayor. It doesn't matter. This is a city project. It's never going to be a state project. If the mayor wants to run for governor, then he should resign the office and run. If he's going to be the mayor and see transit through, then he needs to do it. You can't have a personal political timetable undermine the transit timetable, which everybody should be concentrating on. But couldn't one argue that Hanneman has gotten the ball rolling on it? Of course, they had the referendum where uh, the public voted in favor of rail. Uh, all they're waiting for is the EIS now. Like, What more could the mayor do at this point in time? Once the EIS is approved, then construction would start. Why would him stepping down, perhaps in July, when it's expected that he'll step down, how would that stop rail? How, how could that impact rail? It's going to impact rail for a very simple reason. You don't know who the next mayor is going to be. By stepping down, it causes a special election. A brand new mayor, a brand new council. A new mayor and the council don't necessarily have to be committed at all and certainly don't have to be committed to this plan. You put the whole thing at risk. Do you see a, a candidate for mayor out there that's, I mean, other than uh, Professor Panos Rivadoros, is there anybody out there, There's a legitimate contender that uh, could come out there? I mean, Peter Carlisle, mm -hmm. who said he's going to run for mayor, uh, according mm -hmm. to his website, he says the people have spoken. Yeah. Uh, of course, you've got uh, uh, Kirk Caldwell, who's the city, city managing director. He's pro-rail. Mm -hmm. So really, is this a legitimate concern? It's a legitimate concern in the sense that you do not have any uh, transit-oriented development done. You don't have any necessary commitment at all yet because the EIS hasn't been finished. Every time the rail uh, proposition has come forward, it's been pushed back, back, and back. There's no completion on this. The only one that can complete it and the one who has taken full responsibility for it is the mayor. Now, if the idea is that it really isn't important and you can just hand it off, if that's going to be the proposition, then why not resign now and start running for governor legitimately? Every single day the mayor is running for governor. Uh, he's uh, using the office of the mayor to run for governor. If it really doesn't matter when you hand it off, then resign now and run legitimately. You no. can't have it both ways. You can't say, no, I need to stay until... Uh, but many I, candidates I, before have had it both ways. I mean, a but lot of But the law have says it. you're supposed to resign if you're going to run for another office. But That's what the law says. And if you can hand it off and it doesn't matter who takes it, then why not do it and run legitimately? I resigned my office because I did not want to pretend that I was uh, uh, going to be a member of Congress and run full time and pick up that paycheck. The mayor is running for, uh, for governor now and utilizing the office of the mayor to do it. Let me ask you a quick question. O on those lines, uh, health care vote, they're trying to bring that up in the House right now. Are they missing you right now in the House? They're, they need every Democrat they can line up. I know this is something that you were for, and now mm -hmm. that seat is empty. Week after week, going back months now, actually years, we've been uh, trying to put uh, the uh, health care bill through. We passed in the, in the House over and over again. The only time we're going to have that bill on the floor is when the votes are there. And But are they missing your vote right now? No, they're not missing my vote because the proposition that's on there passed the House before and will pass again. All right. And do you, you, you think that there will be health care reform in this country? I mean, just to the degree, back to the degree, yeah, <laughs> To the degree that what we have now constitutes reform, and it is a step or two or three forward, we have to do it. Um, right now... 
the costs of health care are rising regardless of the plan you have because we don't have everybody insured when not everyone is insured the cost for those who are insured go up it's been going up steadily and will get soon be out of control so the only way that we're going to be able to deal with that is to have national health care reform as envisioned by the president and the democratic congress former congressman Neil Abercrombie, a candidate for governor sir would you like to come back on our news uh, sometime in the future oh, again? Yes. We'd like to have you back. I anytime, really appreciate Dan. it. We could talk Thank about something different, like thank rail. Yeah, <laughs> anytime. Or education. And education. We'll Just talk out about in that. the Waianae uh, at the charter school uh, this last Friday, those kids were in school. Uh, furlough Friday had all the other kids on the street. I'm That's sorry, not sir, right. We are out of time, but I appreciate it. And uh, we'll have, uh, of course, uh, former Congressman Neil Abercrombie back on our news shortly. But right now, it's time for us to go to a commercial break and come back with traffic and weather on the force. Thanks again. Thank you. Dan. Really